In a previous video, I showed you an extra fast profile for Cura that cuts your print times in half. And many people are using it and love it. But I'm getting a lot of questions about what exactly changed. And also, what does each setting in Cura do? Well, I got two plugins that I want to show you in this episode that'll help explain all of that on today's Film It Friday. Film It Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. My Extra Fast profile has been so popular that even Stefan over at CNC Kitchen in his latest video took my profile and tried to reproduce it in Prusa Slicer. When he used my profile to slice his print, he got one hour, and then he reduced his down to 51 minutes and claimed he beat me by about 10 minutes. But I'm not sure what settings he used to get that one hour because when I use his 0.3 layer height instead of my 0.28 and 30% info like he had, I get 49 minutes. So I still win by two minutes. When I compare my print to his print, they're about the same. Mine's a little rougher on top, but bottom line is we both created some extra fast profiles that print really well. But if you want to compare two profiles, here's a great tool. Go up to Marketplace and then scroll down in the plugins all the way down to this plugin called Profile Analyzer. Click on that and this plugin will help you analyze Cure Profiles much easier. So click Install, click the Agreement, and then you have to quit Cura and restart it. Once you're back in Cura, go up to the Extensions menu and you'll see Profile Analyzer. There's four different options, but we want to use the View Profile Analyze. When you click on that, it's going to take all your profiles and open a web page just locally with all your profiles and a spreadsheet so you can see all the settings and compare. Now, if you only want to compare two profiles, just uncheck them. Like I have my 028 rough and my extra fast. So what I started with and what I changed to. And you can just go through those two. But if you only want to see the differences, then you can come over here to the left and click on show only differences. So this is a great way to compare two profiles. It's already helped me find errors in my existing profiles. Now if you want to understand what each setting does, here's another plugin. Click on Marketplace and in Settings Guide and install that. You have to agree to the terms and then restart Cura. And now when you're back in Cura, anytime you hover over a setting, you get a full description pop-up with pictures and explanation. It's really awesome. Now there's two things I don't like about using the settings guide in this way. If I come down here to optimize wall printing order, I get an explanation with two pictures, but there's no difference between these pictures. Remember this, I'll show you why I like another method better. The other thing I don't like about this settings guide is it's constantly popping up, even when I don't want it. Well, you can get rid of that. Go up to Extensions, Settings Guide, Preferences. And then you can uncheck this box, Show Articles and Setting Tooltips. But it requires a restart. So you can't just toggle it on and off without restarting. But now it just goes back to the old pop-ups, which are a little less annoying. Another option you have is right click on any settings and then click on settings guide or go up to extensions, settings guide, click on settings guide. And now you get a separate standalone window just for the settings guide, which is separate from the cure window. It's got all the settings on the right and all the information on the left. And you can even click on the pictures and get a better view. So it's very handy to have this separate and open all the time. And it's even better because look at the optimized wall printing order. Remember there were two equal pictures? They're actually videos. They show the animations of the difference between these two settings. So this is much better than the other way to use it. So this is the way I use the settings guide. So there you have two great plugins to help you understand Cura Slicer settings and how to compare profiles. So now maybe you can take my profile and make it even better. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or just click on that Chef logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time, right here at Filament Friday.